Hi, everybody. Welcome to Petra's Happy Place. Yes, it has been a long time, I must admit, and I have missed everybody. Um, I have been enjoying my um, little hiatus, if you will, and um, I'm, I'm back for a little piece. Um, I think I'm only going to be posting this video and then I'm going to start the whole year over again. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, welcome to Petra's Happy Place. My name is Petra and I will be your hostess with the mostest because I got a lot of stuff to show you. I've been very busy. The first thing I want to do is give a huge, huge thank you, thank you, thank you um, to all of those of you who have sent me wonderful Christmas wishes on Facebook and on YouTube and all that kind of good stuff, and even on my email, and I have some cards I want to show you. I want to, I want to say thank you to everybody. Um, <clears throat> I hope everybody had a wonderful and blessed Christmas. I did. It's my Christmas season is still going. So <clears throat> let me start by showing you these wonderful Christmas cards. I got something from Rosalie from Yarn It Out, wishing me a season's greeting, wishing you all the best this Christmas from Rosalie. Isn't that lovely? Thank you so much, Rosalie. Um, I will <clears throat> attempt. To remember to put everybody in the description box to link all their channels. <clears throat> I have a beautiful card here from Natalie from Natalie's Closet. Isn't it gorgeous? It says, Merry Christmas. Inside, may the good times and the treasures of the present become the golden memories of tomorrow. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Love, hugs, and prayers, Natalie, Mom, and Miley. I love it. Thank you so much, Natalie. I really appreciate it. So pretty. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm laying them all right in front of me, so I'll remember. <laughs> okay. Who is this one from? This one from Arizona. This is from Debbie. Now, Debbie doesn't have it. Well, she has the chance. But she doesn't have content, if I'm not mistaken. But she is a dear friend. Some of you might know her. But the, here is a peace on earth. Um, will Peace on earth will come to stay. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? Inside it says, when we live Christmas every day. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Debbie. I love you. Okay. And then we have... Oh, from Judy. Yep, Judy. Where are you living? New Mexico. Ooh, look how pretty. With the green and the red, you can tell this is a homemade card. Oh, it's a beautiful picture. Beautiful picture. Um, and it looks like her husband, son, must have made that. Um, it says... Wishing you a joyous Christmas and a happy new year. Big hugs, Judy. And this is crochet every day with Judy. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Okay. And then this, I didn't recognize the name on the card because she changed it this year. It's no longer Sherry K loves to crochet. It's Sherry uh, it's Sherry K. Loves Yarn, and she changed her name to Roberts because she got married. But here's a beautiful Christmas card from my sweet friend Sherry. Thank you so much. And it says, oh, it's the Gingerbread Inn and Cafe. Look, isn't that pretty? Isn't that cute? Oh, that sounds. that looks like a nice little place to stay. Merry Christmas. Wishing... You all the joy and wonder of the season. Sherry, Chris, and Connor. Thank you, Sherry. Love you. 
Okay, and then this one is from a friend of mine, a dear friend of mine, Andrea. She that she's not on YouTube, but I wanted to call her out. My friends, she's so lovely. Uh, some of you might ha might have met her. Um, she was on one of my um, um, Zoom chats one time, and I met Andrea when I was writing. And um, we have been friends ever since. Thank you so much. Okay, this one is from Marnie. Keto Marnie. Merry Christmas. There's Father Christmas right there. Okay, and it says, Sending wish uh, Christmas wishes your way for lots of joy in your heart. Love, Marnie. Love you. Love you, Marnie. Thank you so much. Okay, and then we have mm, Angela from My Precious Yarnery. Thank you, Angela. It says, Happy Holidays. Isn't that pretty? It's all sparkly. It has some ooh, glitter on it. And inside we have... Some beautiful candy cane stitch markers or earrings, whichever you prefer. Here, let me see if I can get them. Well, come on now. Don't be stubborn. Well, here, you can see the one. They're little candy canes. Aren't they cute? Thank you so much. And then these are beautiful. Um, these are like a marbled heart. Marbled hearts. Come on, focus for me, baby. Come on, come on. Uh, it's not going to want to focus. I'm so sorry. Doesn't want to focus for me, but they're little marbled hearts. And it says, <clears throat> Dear Petra, just a little something to make you smile, wishing you the kind of joy that stays with you all through the holidays. Thank you so much, Angela. I'm going to put those back in there, though, to keep them, keep everything together. I love you, girl. Okay, and then this is from my friend Nancy from Nan's Next Knots. <clears throat> you all know her. Nan's next knots and it says, Oh, even the little chickadees on the inside, aren't they pretty? May the spirit of peace and love be welcomed into your into every heart and home this Christmas. Nancy, thank you. Thank you very much. I just noticed the little the beautiful star, but then there is a cross. I love that. I love that. Okay. Thank you, Nancy. It's a beautiful card. Okay, and then this is from, let me just preface something, okay? I had promised a lot of people that I was going to put out a Christmas letter. I didn't do one. I am so sorry. I might still do one this week. I'll just call it a year-end wrap-up letter instead of a Christmas letter. But, um, yeah, I didn't get around to doing it. I am so sorry. I started it. I honestly did. But I didn't finish it. So. Okay, this one is from Tracy from I Love Loopy Crochet. I love my Miss Tracy. She's a sweet sister in the Lord. It says, wishing you a holiday season wrapped in love. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you, sweetheart. I really appreciate that. Okay. This is from... Okay, wait a minute. I need to... Oh, yeah. This is from Shell Shell Crochet. Shell Shell Crochet. And it says, Jesus greetings. This is from Canada, y'all. So is Angela from My Secret Yarnery. Um, not My Secret Yarnery. My Precious Yarnery. Secret Yarnery is Krista. 
I know that. Okay, so it says, wishing you warm winter wishes, winter moments, bright, bright Christmas memories. Merry Christmas and all the best for a wonderful 2022. And then she sent along some peppermint, ginger, and fennel herbal tea. Nice, 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 nice. That'll keep you nice and warm. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to need that um, peppermint and ginger um, after all of this rich Christmas food. You know, peppermint and ginger does wonders for the tummy. Okay, what else we got here? Oh, yes, yes. My friend Darla the Crafty Yarn Owl sent me a little homemade card. Look at this one. And there's an embossed Christmas tree on there. Look how pretty that is. And the sp oh, sparkle glitter. That, that, came, that fell out. <laughs> That's a little sticker of her. Isn't that cute? Her little logo sticker. <clears throat> and it says, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Lots of love. Crafty Yarn Owl with Darla. I just think that's beautiful, sweetheart. You did an amazing job. I know embossing takes a long time. I used to do that myself. Yeah. <clears throat> Oops. Let me do it this way. Okay. All right. Got two more. Oops. This one is from... Melanie, Melanie Lewis, <laughs> the fluffy tote bag girl. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. And it says sending warm holiday wishes. And she wrote me like a little personal note. Thank you so much, Melanie. That was very, very sweet of you. And um, I appreciate that very, very much. Okay, and then the last one, and this actually, I, I think this was the last one that I got. This one was from um, um, Reggie from J Hook Crochet. Thank you, Reggie. This is a beautiful card. Weihnachten, Fröhliche Weihnachten. This is in German, obviously. For those of you that know how to read. Okay, and I love that picture. I just that's just Germany right there. It says just Petra want I just wanted to wish wanted to wish you, Mr. Happy, a joyful holiday season and Merry Christmas. And then inside she sent two of these wonderful teas, both of them German. Uh, this is a uh, uh, lavender verbena. Um, it's, is it DM, DM bio? And it is, uh, yeah, well, it's lavender ver <laughs> verbena. Um, and then this is Vinta Te. Um, and it's ap apple rooibos um, zimt, uh, zimt, I can't remember what zimt is. And the, okay, I can't pronounce all of them. There we go. It's kind of an apple tea, but thank you so much, Reggie. You know I love those teas from, from Germany. And this is a cute little kit. It's a God's Eye weaving kit. And it has directions and the little yarn to make this little craft. Isn't that precious? I think that's such a sweet, sweet gift. So I'm going to keep this all together with the card. Oh, oh, and look at that. It's a Life and Loom Textile Studio. I'll leave that up there in case you want to check them out. Um, Community Textile Studio and Healing Arts. Yeah, it's this kit here. Lifeandloom.co.uk. That is really cool. Thank you so much, Reggie. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for those wonderful wishes. Okay, so um, I wanted to show you. Uh, I, 
not, uh, there's only two crochet related things that, that I got for Christmas from Mr. Happy. I got, um, this one is called the Tunisian Crochet Workshop book. Just FYI, this is going to be a longer video because I have a lot to show you. So this is a Tunisian Crochet Workshop. It is by Michelle Robinson. And in it, it has um, all the things you need to know to get started Tunisian, even talking about the hook size, gauge. And this is what I thought was very um, cool, even a whole color chart and how to choose your colors. Is that not a great idea, you guys? So it ha has all the basic beginning stitches and then how to do color work and then uh, intarsia and even some a little bit more um, detail stitches um, like look at this one a cable stitch isn't that neat um yeah I think that's really really cool um here's another one called the star stitch yeah, that is going to be so neat to try these new stitches. And then actually it has some projects in it to do. So Mr. Happy did amazing with that book. And then the other book that he got me totally surprised me because this wasn't even near on my radar. But this is um by... Nihon, Nihon Vogue, um, and it's translated by Gail Rem, Rome or Rem, um, and it is called Japanese Woven, wait a minute, Wonder Crochet, sorry, Japanese Wonder Crochet, A Creative Approach to Classic Stitches. It is so cool. Apparently, Japanese, okay, let me, let me see if I find the, um, um, huh, well, from what I see, wait a minute, that it, there's charts in here, and these charts look like, I mean, crazy, look how crazy complicated that looks, well, I sure hope there's some uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot. I mean, because that's all it is, is charts. Okay. But um, basically, from what I understand is Japanese um, woven, oh, excuse me, crochet is basically like 3D kind of, you know, where it stands up on top of each other. So things like crocodile stitches, bobble stitches, um, um, uh, let's see here, whatever, Bavarian stitches, bullion, um, what a, yeah, this is crocodile, um, herringbone, this, this is a, a rib crochet project, you can see it's a bag, but basically, it's like anything like a three ha, that has a three dimensional type look. Let me show you that again. Japanese Wonder Crochet by Nihon Vogue. So obviously, it was originally published in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> and it was translated, which is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, I was in Barnes and Noble, and I found the Spring Twenty Two Defining Crochet issue, and I picked it up. And because I can't remember if I got the subscription or not, but. I, I, love was, I was looking at that and I was looking real closely and I'm going, that looks like Tunisian to me. That looks like Tunisian. Well, I bring it home and I open it up to the actual thing and 
Let me see if I can find it. Well, if I, even if I can't find it, just to tell you, it is Tunisian crochet. I was so spot on. Curveball pullover. Welcome spring in this color blocked raglan pullover work in the Tunisian simple stitch. Look at that. Is that cool? And then I saw it and I pegged it. I pegged it, y'all. I pegged it. We're so excited about that. Okay, <clears throat> now what? What can I show you next? Okay, I got, I think it was the November crate. And then they sent me two, which it, it just makes me very upset. Okay, so they had a, um, they had a deal back in November, the beginning of the month, which said, we want you back. So if you'll pay for shipping for the November box, no, it, if you resubscribe, if you sign up again, if you resubscribe, because I had, I had signed out, you know, I, I, I quit my box, you know, quit the subscription. They said, we want you back. So if you renew your subscription and pay for shipping, we will sh send you the November box plus an additional box for free. And I said, well, I'm all on board on that. So I did it. Well, let me tell you what ended up happening. Well, let me just show you the November box. Well, let's see here. This is it here. Okay, so the November box, I wasn't all that thrilled to get, but hello, it's free. So I said, I might as well. So this whole box is called Tea Time. Wait, is that called? Yeah, Tea Time. That's the name of the, the month, okay? And we got a little tea, a little package of tea. And that was the little free gift. But here's the yarn. Now, I love the yarn. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful yarn. I love it. It's so squashy. Squashy, not squishy, it's squashy. And it's called Yuru Yarn. Um, and you know what? I heard um, Jeannie from On the Hook Crochet, she said it's U R U Yarn. And I thought, I think that's right. U R U Yarn. I like that. Uh, cozy. And the colorway is called Butterfly Pea Flower. I love that. It is 45% Huyakaya alpaca, 45% Suri alpaca, and 10% Stellina. Now, I love this. It is the squishiest, softest, squashiest, softest yarn. And um, it is purple, so you can't go wrong with that, right? And I'm just in love with that yarn. However, it's a six bulky. And guys, I don't, I don't use six bulky. I don't, it's so hard for me to work with it. So I'm still going to though. I'm still going to, I'm going to, um, I don't know what I can make with it. I think I can make a cowl because it does show a cowl right there to crochet. But um, I'm not into cowls very much. I'm not into hats. I mean, I guess I am into, I guess I could make a cowl. That, oh, that would be so soft and warm. And it would go with my winter coat. 
I don't know. We'll see. But that was the November crate. Okay, so, so I got the November crate, and all of a sudden, the first of December, I get charged with not one, but two December boxes. And I'm like, whoa, 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 hold up, hold the fort. And so I, I emailed them and I said, wait a second, why am I getting charged for two boxes? And they said, well, it looks like you resubscribed, but then you got a new and I said, what? no, 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 wait a second. I only wanted one. If I, if I subscribed and then if I subscribed and then resubscribed, um, I should have gotten two November boxes according to y'all, but I didn't. So why am I getting, well, they sent two. They sent two December boxes, and I still can't figure out on my, I'm going to have to look at my bill, my um, bank statement to see if they actually charged me for the two, because by the time they got about around to, um, to replying to my email, they had done sent it already. So I got two of these boxes, and... Well, you know what? I mean, it's it's knit crate yarn. I love knit crate yarn. And yes, they're more expensive. And I probably will end up canceling it again. But for now, I've got two boxes. Whatever. <clears throat> so this month was called, and I know you guys have seen these. They're, they've been all around. But it's called Vintage Records. And, um... The colorway that I got was called Rhythm and Blues, and it's the the Chill Out is what um, is the name of it, and it's a pretty gray. It's a real pretty gray, and I want to say it has a really light periwinkle undertone, but it's it's basically gray, and you get two of them. And this is a four weight. Um, let me just double check. Yeah, it's a worsted weight. And this is 41 wool, 26 alpaca, 23 tinsel, and 10 baby camel. Oh, and I forgot. Hold on. Um, I should tell you how many yards. Uh, these have 55 yards in it, so that's a total of 110 yards of that bulky weight. And then these, um, Audine Wool's Harmony, um, these have 150, okay? So I got two, um, two of these, 150, so 300 in the box and then I also got two um of the soak uh pineapple grove these are the um the little washes that you can use for the wool so I got two of those and then two of this um colorway rhythm and blues um and then the other box I I'm, I'm pretty sure it's this the exact same thing um yeah, so there's two wool soaks and two of the gray. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. So I have a total of, what would that be, 600 yards of five weight. And it's very soft, lovely yarn. And um, the month of December, up until the very end of uh, last day of uh, December, which gives me another week. <laughs> um, they're they're running a sale. Knit Crate's running a sale. A, a double down. Well, no, it's not a double down. What's it called? A buy one get one, basically in Member Central. So I could potentially get another 
300 yards for about $16, which is not a bad price. So I might do that. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. Okay, so before I get into, oh, oh, I have, I bought some yarn. I bought some yarn. So I want to show you that first. Um, I went into Michael's. Okay. <laughs> let me, let me, let me tell you what happened. What had happened was <laughs> I go into Michael's and I'm always disappointed. And it's like, I'll go in there and I have hopes up that they're going to have something new, something different. Nothing, 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 nothing. And I'm so disappointed. And I keep telling myself, why do I keep coming back to this place? They don't have anything. They don't have any yarn. They don't have any Karen cakes. They got like an end cap full at the beginning of or the end of October, you know, or something like that. And, and that was it. That was all. I mean, they didn't get anything new. I mean, I was just so frustrated. They had a handful of uh, crystal cakes and they had some anniversary cakes and that was it. I was so upset. Mr. Happy and I were out and we were at dinner and we just happened to be basically like right across the road from Michael's. And I was telling him, you know, I want to go into Michael's. He said, yeah. <laughs> I said, I don't know why. Because every time I go in there, I'm disappointed that they don't have anything. He said, well, so do you want to go or not? Well, we're here. Might as well go. <laughs> so he dropped me off. I went in. They had a whole middle section full. Oh, oh sorry. I had to reach. Now, I had in my arms a whole lot more. But I thought, I'm not going to be stingy. I'm not going to be selfish. I'm not going to be stingy, right? <laughs> I'm not going to be selfish. Because they only had so much. <laughs> and that was it. So, the gal, one of the gals says, are you finding everything you're looking for? You know how they always do. And I said, well, finally... And she kind of looked at me. She said, yeah, we finally got them in. It was, they had some crystal cakes in. And I said, what do you mean you finally got them in? She said, we have been waiting forever for these. And I said, well, what about the cloud cakes? What about all the other cakes? And she goes, I don't have a clue. I We don't have a clue. We have no idea if we're going to be getting any in or not. So I said, well, I guess I better get it while the getting's good. She goes, yep. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so what did, what did Petra do? Well, Petra got two colorways of the crystal cakes. You guys, I can make a big poncho or a big shawl with just one. So I got two of this colorway. Isn't that gorgeous? <clears throat> this colorway is called rattan. And I just love it because it has like a little plummy in it with a little taupe and gray. And I, I just end up browns. I just love it. I love, love, love it. And <clears throat> let me, t for those of you that don't know, um, these are 64 acrylic, 24 polyester, 7 nylon, 5 metallic. It is the number 4 medium weight. Um, and there is 
634 yards in one. <clears throat> now, um, I got these two. Oh, what was I going to say? I saw something here caught my attention, but well, okay, anyway, I got these two and I thought this color would look amazing on so many different skin types, I think. So I got two of that. And guys, I'm so excited. I got two of the What's it called? Amaranth. <laughs> Amaranth. Did you catch that? Amaranth. <laughs> okay, now showing more purple on the on the screen on the monitor, but they are more of a um, a berry a berry purple, and I just love them. I had three of each. I thought, no, I'll just take two. I'll make do with two. <laughs> but I am in love with it. So I'm so happy. I'm happy, happy, happy. All right. So that those are my purchases. Okay. That's all I purchased in the month of December. That's pretty darn good. So, anyway, I have been taking the month of December off, as you as you have uh, been made aware of at some point. Um, so here's here's the deal. Um, I'm going to be basically revamping my channel. I'm not going to be. It's not just going to be crochet and yarn. Um, I, I cannot tell you, I, I cannot convey to you how blessed I feel that I've been given this opportunity to share all of this with you guys. Um, I've made so many wonderful, not just acquaintances, you know, names that I recognize, but um, so many people have reached out to me and, and asked me how things are going and, and have actually become friends with me. And I just cannot tell you how good that makes me feel. Um, there are things about me that some of you might know and some of you might not know, but there's a lot of things that are important to me. And um, the main, my main passion um, in my life is Christ Jesus. And for the last couple years, I have, I I feel as if I've been putting that part of my spiritual life on the back burner, not not intentionally, obviously, but um, just things um, they get piled up. You know, I feel like you can't see my eyeballs. Can you see my eyeballs? <laughs> Um, not intentionally, of course, but you know, life happens and then it's like, well, I love to crochet and I love to spend time with my friends, with you and talking about yarn and crocheting and all those kind of good stuff. And, um, then life kind of hits you between the eyes sometimes, doesn't it? And it says, Hey, what's really important to you? And so, um, what I am going to be doing in the new year, and for those of you that follow me just for the crochet and yarn, I hope you stick with me because I will be bringing content on that, but I'm also going to be adding other content. I'm going to be adding 
um, Bible reviews. I'm going to be talking about things that I'm learning in scripture. I've given myself a goal for the new year to read two books a month. And that's hard. It's hard to read a book and crochet at the same time. Honestly, I can't do it. <laughs> Not unless somebody reads it out loud to me. And I've already got two books picked out right there. Um, and one of them is a fiction book and one of them's a nonfiction book. And I am really excited. I've already started reading one of them to tell the truth. And I am excited about you know, sharing with some of you or those of you that care to listen anyway, the things that I'm reading. Um, so I'm going to be taking some of the time and sharing the books that I'm reading. What am I reading? What am I, what are, what am I, uh, learning in these nonfiction books? Am I, if I'm learning anything, you know, so I'm excited about that. And, um, I have started bullet journaling again, which it, that takes a little bit of time, but I was just sharing with a good friend. I said, you know, it takes time, but in the long run, I help, I think it helps me become more focused and more productive in the things that I am accomplishing. So, I have, um, let me see if I can find it here um, while I'm thinking of it. Um, I have in my, this is my little bullet journal, and this is what I'm going to be using all the time. Um, I have planned a whole list of goals. Okay, now I'm going to see if I can find the list for you. So many goals. Okay, this is not even all of them because I, my mind keeps saying, okay, I need to do this, put this and down, this and this and this down. But they, I have different categories of goals. One is crochet. One is YouTube and social media. I've got personal, spiritual, and in my home. Now, um, some of these I will be sharing with you. And, um, and the only reason I have these goals written down is not so much to, oh, I got to get done. I got to get it done, like to pressure myself, but they're just starting points, you know, like, okay, this is something that I want to do for the year and I'm going to try to get those things done. I also have um, a whole section here. See, here's the thing of books I want to read. I'm going to be listing them here. And then this one is things I want to learn. And I'm going to start filling that in of all the different things I want to learn, like whether they be um, uh, like certain um, software for my computer or certain um, stitches and crochet or new I don't know, whatever, how to make a such and such, I, whatever it is um, that I want to write that down or record it, see? And so I, I even have in here temperature blankets, one for Mr. Happy and one for me. I'm going to be making temperature blankets and I have them all laid out, one little section of my whip cart for each of us and all the temperatures laid out, everything is laid out, ready to go for next year. So excited about that. So one of the things that I'm going to try to learn is going to be time stamping the um, videos so that in the description box, you'll be able to see um, um, okay, like if you don't care about my reading or what I'm doing in the reading, and I just happen to be uh, talking about that in that particular, on that particular video, then you can skip over it. But as it is, I'm going to be doing only one video a week, and then each video will be dedicated to a certain topic. Okay, so like one will be all the things that I finished, and I'm going to say that 
finished because it could be a book that I finished. It could be a prod, a crochet project that I finished. It could be a goal that I accomplished, whatever, whatever it is, right? Um, then I might have another week that will be what I learned. And so I might be sharing um, different, well, the different things that I happen to learn that, that um, uh, week or that month, actually, it's going to be for the last month. And so I see I have to keep listing everything that I've been doing. So I make sure that I remember to tell you. <laughs> so I got fuzzies from that crystal cake in my nose, I think. So anyway, that is what my plans are. Now I have a stack of stuff. I finished so many things this week, this month. Now, many of them I made and ended up actually, you know, giving them as gifts. So I didn't take pictures and I didn't take a video of anything. Some of you, if you saw my picture, um, a lot of you commented on it on my, on the Facebook group. I was standing in front of a blue tree with my ugly Christmas sweater. Well, I wanted to show you my Christmas sweater. Okay, this is my ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> and people say, Peter, it's not ugly. Well, I know it's not ugly, but it's like piecemeal. And I just, I love it. I do love it. I love wearing it because it's so cozy. Um, I used paint box DK up here and paint box DK. And I put two strands together for that. I use, this is the Mainstays uh, white for weight. And then this is the, um, uh, I love this yarn, this Christmas glitter. So this was my Christmas sweater that I made and it's humongous. It is very big, but it's so cozy. I love wearing it, but I wanted to make a point. The tree that I was standing in front of is not my, that was not my house and that is not my tree. That tree is in our office. <laughs> that, that tree is in our waiting room in the doctor's office. And um, he is an avid, I'm talking about crazy avid, uh, University of Kentucky, U Kentucky. <laughs> University of Kentucky fan and their colors are blue and white. Blue and white. And that tree, there is nothing on it that isn't blue, white, or silver. Um, the only thing that's green on it is the is the lights that were made onto the tree, you know, that, that came with the tree. Everything else is blue or white or silver. <laughs> he had a little tiny, or we have a little tiny UK uh, tree, a, a wreath, excuse me. It's like an ornament. It's a wreath. It has a red bow on it. And he threw a hissy fit that it was on his blue tree because red, is the color of the arch enemy of um, University of Kentucky, which is University of Louisville, and he will not have anything red on that tree. But I could stand in front of it with my red sweater, <laughs> with my Christmas sweater. So anyway, that that's the one thing that I finished. I started it and finished it in the month of December. Um, I figured I needed an ugly Christmas sweater and I didn't have one, so I might as well make one. And this I did. Okay, so what else have I been doing? Okay, this you might have seen. This is what I made with one crystal cake. It is just a little, um, um, a collared poncho, but it's a short poncho. It's not a... It's not a long one. It only goes up to about the elbows. But that is a poncho. Nice, right? 
and it just kind of keeps your elbow your shoulders uh nice and warm and like i said that's just one uh crystal cake um and i probably used like a five and a half um maybe a six or maybe even a six and a half i can't even remember what size hook i used with it to tell you the truth and i'm pretty sure i used the half double crochet which is my go-to for anything like that okay now i think i showed this before but i'm going to show it again um because it's been sitting here i haven't really i think i've I don't even know if I've worn it to work. I think I I might have one day, but this is um, uh, the winterberry sweater that Jeannie from On the Hook. Um, that's her design, and it has this black um, stripe down, and it kind of holds it together, and then it's here at the top as well. So that is. Um, the winterberry sweater, and I used, oh, uh, goodness, what yarn did I use for this? Um, I can't, I cannot remember. I cannot remember what yarn I used for that. I do apologize. Um, I'm thinking it was uh, yarn from Hobby Lobby, mm, but I can't remember the name of it. I'm sorry. Okay, that is gonna fall okay another one that i think i have shown you guys is this one and this is the um, i can't remember what i i think this is by tc tcd diy but i cannot remember uh honestly yes i know it was i know it was but this is a TCD DIY sweater, and I used uh, a gray yarn. Uh, this, again, I think was another of the Hobby Lobby yarns. But I love it. It's just so pretty, and it's so warm, and it's big enough. And I think what I think would look really amazing with it is a white uh, button down collared shirt on this I, underneath it. I think that would look so amazing. And it just has, you know, no, just has a regular, nice, a nice big sleeve. I like that. Okay. So I made, now this one is by, ah, uh, who is this by? Mm, I think it's happy. It might be Happy Berry. I can't remember. I can't remember. I think it might be Happy Berry, but I'm not. I'm not sure. But this could be. Um, you could make this longer. Um, it is a. This is a granny stitch, and this is. Oh, I can't. I'm sorry, guys. I can't remember. Um, if I remember to put him in the description box, which this video I said is going to be very long and I do apologize. I'm almost done, but it's going to be over an hour long, but, um, cause I had a lot to catch up on. So this is, um, if I find it, I'll let you know, but you can continue going on with this, a pattern. It's just a, it's just a granny and there is a point here but there's no point here you see it's so um it's to be worn like so and what i how how she was showing one of the ways you could wear this is you just wear it like this almost like one of those old time dickies you know but you wear it underneath like a, a jacket right and it will keep your neck nice and warm i just and i love the color hello what's not to love about the color isn't that pretty i and i love it i have a black um i have a black like a jean type jacket and i think i'm gonna wear this that with this with that mm -hmm. yeah i think that's gonna look amazing okay and then um this I made a couple of these and I, I know I gifted a lot of these um little um washcloths to um a friend of mine at work 
um, I think I showed this, but this is a um, this is using um, Melissa from Crochet in Agreement. This is her colorway for Granny D. It's called um, Be Nice, Don't Be Ugly. I think that's what it is. And it's using that colorway. And I just made a, this could be a, either a head, um, you know, an ear warmer. Or <clears throat> I, I don't look as good in ear warmers as a lot of people do. But what I, how I would wear it is like, almost like just a little, a mini, mini, mini cowl. I, let me put my glasses on so I can see. But see how it just, and I could add like a little brooch right there. And I think that would look amazing. Oh, it's so warm. It is so warm. It feels good. I'm going to keep it on. So um, I made something else. Um, <coughs> this is by Shandy from Expression Fiber Arts, and I can't, can't remember the name of this, but I had some left, or I had some um, yarn from, it's Be So Easy Yarn by Kristen Omdahl, and I made this. Okay, let me, okay, I have to try this one on, because honestly, I haven't tried it on since I, I kept adjusting it and adjusting it. You keep, I had to keep making it bigger and bigger and bigger. So let me see here. I think what I had to end up doing is rolling this up twice. Okay. And then Oh my. I know it's kind of loud you guys. It's kind of loud. But boy is it warm. Oh yeah, I love it. And I used, um, this is raisin and orchid together. Look at that. Is that not amazing? And it's just a little to keep the shoulders covered. And in the back, you can see, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this one on instead. Okay, let me put this away here. Now these two things, guys, I'm so excited. Are you ready for this? It's only been over a year in the making. But da 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 I finished. I finished it, guys. I finished it. This is the um <laughs> I know it's Michelle for MJ's designs. MJ's on the hook, off the hook, off the hook. Uh, macaroon? No, not macaroon. Oh, it's a cookie. <laughs> I don't remember the name. I made a huge one. It was way too big, and now I made this one. Oh, and I finished it, and it's perfect. And it's purple. <laughs> look, look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh, what is the name of this one? Mac, no, not macaroon. Doggone it. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, okay, I'll just be taking up too much time trying to find it. But I love it and I can't wait to wear it. But doggone, it's too hot to wear stuff like this right now. So I will be wearing that as soon as it gets cold again. But now this one, I just picked up the yarn. I was just like, I have to make something for me. And I love this yarn and I'm just going to have to do it. And when I was working on it, I was thinking of my dear friend, Denny. Mm hmm Danny, this is Chloe yarn. Chloe yarn. 
she loves Chloe yarn because that's the name of her granddaughter. But look at this. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, well, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be done with it yet. And I'll tell you why. You see these the sleeves here? I think I want to put that at the bottom. Yeah, I think I want to put some of that at the bottom. I've got enough yarn. But isn't it beautiful? I think it's just gorgeous. And it's the Chloe yarn, guys. It's so pretty. Oh, so look at those sleeves. I'm in love with the sleeves. And I did this little detail around the neck right there. Oh, okay. Five sweaters. Five sweaters, you guys, in one month. See? See how much I can get done when I put my mind to it? And I didn't even tell you guys what all I've still got on my hook. So I've got one, two, three, three. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. One, two, three, four. Four more sweaters on the hook. Yes, I am so excited, but that's just one of the things that I'm doing, but I hope you guys do understand, and I know you do, I know you do, that my life right now has just been so, my mind is like going, and it's like, I feel like I'm in a box. Okay, I'm in a box and all these, these, my mind is going and it's hitting and it's coming back at me. And I'm, I feel so overwhelmed when all I see is yarn and um, things that I want to do because the things that I want to do, um, I have been making priority instead of the things that I need to do. So I'm going to backtrack, catch my breath, and then start working forward, prioritizing what I need to do first, and then coming and sharing with all you those things that I want to do. Does that make sense? Guys, you have been so, so very patient with me. I know this has gone way long. Um, I have a, I have a feeling that it's going to take hours and hours for this even to pop up on, to, <laughs> to get onto the internet. So to download, but I just want to know, I want you to know that I love you very much. And I, I cannot say thank you, um, strongly enough for doing everything that you have for me and giving me the opportunity to do what I do. I love you guys, and I hope you are enjoying this last week, this very last week of the year 2021. I will see you after the first of the year with a huge, I'm talking ginormous announcement. It's a big one, guys. It's a real big one. I'm not going to let any secrets out, though, because it's really, really good. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.